Hi there, I'm Rick Dickinson. I'm a firefighter EMT and I'm also a computing scientist and a technology enthusiast. Together with my team, we've developed a virtual reality firefighter training simulator. Now, virtual reality, if you didn't already know, works by tricking your brain into thinking that you're somewhere else. And so what we've done is created a virtual training grounds where you can access a catalog of exercises designed to teach and refresh your firefighting skills. Because our exercises are simulated, they don't come with the usual risks associated with fire training. But because the experience seems so real, the skills and the muscle memory that you gain persist beyond the simulation. We have tried very hard to make our systems as intuitive as possible. Notice how as I walk around in the real world, that's also how I move around in the virtual world. And these controllers that I'm holding, they function just like my hands, letting me interact with the environment or operate one of the many tools. Our systems aren't just low risk, they're also very time and resource efficient. You can train the same exercises you normally would, but without the weeks or months of preparation. Instead, setup takes just minutes, leaving you free to run through as many exercises as you want. You can burn your props over and over, or destroy a never-ending supply of cars. And then, when you're done, there's no mess to clean up, there's no exposure to carcinogens, there's no polluting the environment, there's nothing left over except for the skills that you've just sharpened. Did you know that more than one in 10 firefighter fatalities happens during training? It's shocking, I know, and it really highlights just how dangerous firefighting can be. Now, any loss is a tragedy, but as a training officer myself, for this to happen during training must be an especially bitter pill to swallow. And this really reiterates the need for legitimate alternatives to traditional training. It used to be that simulators cost anywhere from hundreds of thousands to tens of millions of dollars, meaning they were just too expensive to be practical for the fire service. But technology has progressed now to the point where a very compelling experience is available for a fraction of what it used to cost. Our systems are portable, easy to set up, and simple to use, and they've never been more affordable. It's time to add virtual reality to your training regime. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.